your hat to play office politics in corporate Malaysia to get promoted faster and get paid more than your peers so you can attain financial independence retire early <laughs> Don't get me started on why you should not explain how the shit happened in the first place. Nobody really cares. The one who do care is a psychopath who wants to find a scapegoat to put the blame on. Your boss just need it to be resolved. So cook up some probable solution that you will do even though you are not sure of the best way yet. That will be the music to his ears. If you have people working under you, know that they are dispensable like minions. What? Hey boss, how to do this ah? Uh? Oh, easy, you just go to that place and you just shit standing up. Huh? Are you sure? Yes, yes, trust me, just do as I say. I have your back. Hey, Ayo, what? what are you doing? Hey, Liu, ah, this one your people? Ah? Hey, sorry, Agao. My people, my people. Walao, I ah, bang. Who asked you to do that? Ayo. By the way, I have never done anything like that before to people who work under me, but I do recall I was the receiving end, ah, the victim of such scenario. Hey, Liu, take on this project. Wow, boss, I already so busy eh. I'm overworked already ah. Want me to die man? And you do not pay me enough to do this? Hey boss, sure thing, no problem. I will be glad to. But I am functioning at my full capacity for the moment. Can I have five minutes with you? So you can help me reprioritize my task on hand? Because you know lah, I only want to deliver top-notch result for you for every task that you assign to me. Nobody will notice you unless you make yourself notice. And the best way to do this, even though you are a man of few words, is to speak up at the beginning and at the end of every group meeting. Ask great questions, give ideas or opinions, or even goreng back some of the things that they say, uh, uh, whatever, lah, so that people at least know that you exist and that you are not a, just a bench warmer. Because literally nobody remembers whatever happens in the middle. Your result and skill in doing your work can only get you so far. You need to get yourself noticed. If your idea is really good, but your boss fear that it is too risky or fear that you appear smarter than him, present your idea to your Mat Saleh, Kwai Lo or Ang Mo counterpart or even better, your boss Mat Saleh counterpart. The Mat Saleh uh, talk one time better than you talk until the cows come home. No! Because uh, some Malaysians with this leftover mindset from colonial times uh, still look up oh, to this orang putih or white people. Eh. This is a telltale sign of a narcissistic. Am I pronouncing this word correctly? A narcissistic boss who make you feel incompetent all the time in all areas. So while you are attending your external job interviews, do this to make your work week more bearable. Ha ha ha. See what I'm saying? Or you cannot get through that lancy, toxic, loud mouth, Neanderthal, old timer jackass who thinks just because he worked in the company for 20 years, he thinks that he knows everything there is and automatically shuts down everything you have to say. This technique works like charm too. Zibai is either my way or the Lanjiao Highway. Kepala buto. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, so what you are saying is the best way to check the reason why our friend cannot shit for one week is to ask him to bend his body and look inside his own ass, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that my work actually got you. Now that I have understand where you are coming from, I would like to present my opinion, my view on this matter. Is that okay with you? Instead of explaining why they should buy in what you say, you got to start acknowledging their point of view. Maybe make them feel hurt first, even though what they say is total rubbish. When you got to the negotiation stage, you want to take a win-win approach. When you are avoiding or accommodating, what's the point of having you, right? You can be dominating the conversation or decision, and people may say yes at the end of the meeting, but there are three types of yeses, huh? don't be fooled. A fake yes. Not useful when you need them to cooperate. Okay la, okay la. A reluctant yes. Not good either because that means that there is still this discontentment feeling or they might sabor you uh, at every opportunities going forward. Okay lo. A committed yes. This is what you want to get. 
All right, okay, would be glad to do that. Sometimes it could be as simple as you have a coconut and I just want the santan ma, while you want the water. So everybody can get everything that he or she wants. Agree? Learning all these office politics tactics is a better payoff than learning how to trade the stock market. If you do not agree, that means you have a dead end job or working in a company with no future prospect. And if all fails, this next instruction video is your final resort to get a double digit increment or even double your salary while keeping your job.